Okay, so here's the Daisy Powerline Model 340. Um, I'm going to show you guys some uh, close-up pics at the end of the video, and also I'm going to show you some uh, shooting and uh, some other different things on this. But basically, this is a Spring Air um, cocking-powered uh, BB gun by Daisy. And uh, the way it works is take it off safety here. What you want to do is cock it. Let the slide come forward. And then let me get my camera zoomed in here. So you have to cock it between each shot. Okay, there we go. All right, now the thing about this too is that uh, the way you load it is right here. You got a drop down magazine here. And the gun will fire with the magazine out. So if you cock it and you got a BB in here, it's going to fire without the magazine. If you got one in the chamber. So here's the magazine right here. And this is kind of an interesting magazine because not only do you have the rounds here, but you got the backup right inside the magazine on one side here. You've got 200 round backup reserve right here. And what you do with this is you fill this up with a couple hundred BBs, close it, then you take it and you pull this slide right here all the way back, shake it a bit, and then what you want to make sure to do, see if I can get some BBs in there. What you want to make sure that you do is that you hold on to this right here, this catch, before you release this uh, guide right here. So you push that all the way in. And it locks right there. And there's your rounds. So what it does is it transfers from here, goes in a loop, and then comes in here. So that way you can fire 200 shots literally without releasing the magazine. It's kind of difficult when it's in the gun because what you have to do when it's in the gun, I'll show you. When it's in the gun, it's the same concept here. You, you pull this, you pull this here, you shake it, and then you want to bring this forward. You want to be a little quick though because sometimes you don't get all the BBs you need. Like that time I only got seven or eight. One thing I want to mention too about double feed, um, this is kind of similar to an airsoft gun, a spring air airsoft gun. With uh, double feed issues, let me uh, zoom in for you here. I want to talk to you guys about double feed and show you what, what causes the problem. Let's see if I can zoom in really close here. What happens with double feed is, is uh, there's a crack right here. And what happens is that is it, the gap opens wider right here. And what it does is it uh, brings two or three BBs forward instead of one. So what you want to do is make sure that's tight. There's a screw right here. You want to make sure that's tight. And you want to make sure you want to make sure that 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 crack right there is together so that when the BB comes forward here when the BB comes forward it's only going to let one out instead of two or three so the wider the gap gets here the more it's going to double feed on you so that's how that works there but anyway let me go back to auto zoom I want to show you guys some things here I'm going to show you what kind of groups I'm getting it does dive off quite a bit because the muzzle velocity is only 240 feet per second so you can't really expect a whole lot of accuracy out of it although you could if you're steady but uh, I even put it in a gun vise and I had trouble keeping it in really small groups but what do you expect it's a $20 BB gun 
All right, so here's what happened. Uh, I vice the gun down with the gun vice type thing that I bought, and uh, it holds the, the gun steady so that you could see what kind of accuracy the gun is shooting with a particular ammo. In this case, it's BBs. So what it's doing is um, when you aim, this is my aim point, this black dot right here. When I aim at the black dot, it drops about one inch. And I can hold like uh, one and a quarter inch groups. So that's like 60% of all the rounds that I fired will, will go inside of a one and a quarter inch group at 10 feet. So it's got a one inch drop and then, um, you know, right from 10 feet. And then when you go to 20 feet, if you aim at the bottom of this circle right here, the sights, it's going to drop three and a half inches and the groups are going to go at 20 feet the groups are going to go a little bit more uh, two and a half inch groups and 70 percent i think of all the shots that were fired made it inside that uh, circle right there so the trajectory on this it's going to drop pretty quick so i wouldn't um, if you're going to shoot at 20 feet Picture that this is a can. If this is a can from here to here at 20 feet, if you're using it for planking cans, you're going to have to aim up here at 20, 25 feet to hit the can right about there. So, so if you look at it, if you picture that this is the size of a can right here, when you're aiming here, you're hitting here at 20 feet. So you aim high on the can, you'll hit it at 20. And you'll see that in my video where I try to shoot cans with this thing. But, hey, it's a $20 gun, you know. What do you expect? The one thing that, uh, one thing that I wanted to say, too, is that uh, it would be nice if they had a hop-up hop system for, for this BB gun here. A lot of airsoft spring guns, what they have is uh, they have a barrel they have a barrel inside that's canted like this so it tends the round tends to go up in the air hop up now there's uh, some airsoft guns where you can adjust the hop up so you can adjust the barrel like here 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 but uh, this BB gun was made uh, with just a straight barrel in it but it would be nice if uh, if they had canted the barrel a little bit up on this end here so like when you were shooting at 10 20 feet you would be dead center you know like on 20 feet like on a half inch target or whatever but uh, since this is a beginning product for Daisy that uh, you know a spring air gun that doesn't require CO2s or require pumping that's kind of cool I guess I mean you got 200 rounds to go you can play around with it and stuff use it out in the yard plinking and stuff and it's cheap enough where you could just go buy another one if you had a problem with the magazine or something like that just buy like like two or three of them or whatever but anyway I've got more to this video coming if you want to watch it um, but what I have to say once again you know can't really expect much for twenty dollars I think you guys seen my tech force s2-1 that one was pretty cool for twenty dollars you really it's all metal and wood and stuff like that which is pretty pretty darn amazing for a twenty dollar air gun so let me show you that one real quick I, I know you guys watch my other videos too so so here it is here it's all wood and all steel which was kind of cool and what I did is I lubed it up and uh, oiled it real nice took it apart in here lubed it up really good and then I changed the seal there's the seal right there and for seals you really don't need uh, you don't really have to have the right o-ring you just split it split a bigger one throw it in there doesn't matter it's still gonna shoot about the same velocity so but anyway, that's that's the other gun that you guys probably saw on my channel. So, anyway, the next part of the video uh, is where I'm going to show you uh, shooting cans.
at about 20 feet or something like that. 